We're often asked, can I change a car battery myself? The answer to this is generally yes. Depending on the vehicle's age, the battery location, and if reprogramming is required, then this can be a relatively simple task. However, on modern vehicles with advanced technology such as start-stop, it can be a complex process that may require special tooling and information. In these instances, we advise it is only handled by qualified technicians. Likewise, hybrid, micro-hybrid and electric vehicles feature systems which are extremely high voltage and must only be touched by specialists who have undertaken the necessary training and qualifications. Never attempt to work on these high voltage traction systems or their supporting auxiliary batteries yourself. For replacement on these types of batteries, speak to a specialist. Now, to change your starter battery, if you are technically knowledgeable and have experience with doing mechanical jobs yourself, then consult your vehicle's handbook to find instructions on how to change the battery. Make sure you follow all of the health and safety instructions regarding the battery, the vehicle and safe working. Every vehicle is different, but the procedure on this 2013 Vauxhall Mocha CDTI with start-stop is a good illustration of a common procedure. Of course, if you do go ahead and attempt to battery change yourself, it is entirely at your own risk. Battery replacement information can be found using your vehicle registration number at fit.uasa.com or fit.gs-battery.com. This will tell you what battery you need and detailed instructions on how to fit it to your specific car. It's important to remember that you need to replace the battery with one of the correct technology and specification. EFB needs to be replaced with EFB or AGM, and AGM with AGM. If you are replacing AGM or EFB batteries, then reprogramming to the car with a specialist tool may be required. For this, we recommend the GSU ASA UFIT. So, on the 2013 Vauxhall Mocha 1.7, which has start-stop, our lookup system has informed me that the battery is located in the engine compartment, reprogramming is required, and fitting time is around 10 minutes. Before disconnecting the battery, I have checked I have the audio security system code, that the wheels are positioned straight ahead, the ignition is off, and the keys have been removed from the ignition switch. Now, Following all of the relevant health and safety guidance, remove the negative terminal by loosening the bolt, then the positive terminal in the same way. Then remove the battery hold down assembly and the assembly itself and put it aside. The battery can now be lifted free and the new one put in place. I make sure the terminal connectors are clean and corrosion free and then connect the positive and tighten the bolt and then the negative in the same way. Once the terminal connections are secure, I can refit and tighten the battery hold down assembly. The battery has been replaced, so now there are some resets to do inside the car. First, I need to insert the key and switch the ignition on. Then, reset the car's volatile memories by pressing and holding the relevant button on the car's indicator stalk. Now, to reset the power windows, I close all of the doors, turn the ignition on, Press and hold the driver's power window close switch until the window is fully closed and wait for two seconds before releasing. Now, I repeat this process for each of the other windows. I must now reset the steering angle sensor with the correct installation procedure. To do so, I start the engine but keep the vehicle stationary and leave it out of gear. I turn the wheel all the way to left lock and then back all the way to right lock. The next step is to initialize the remote control. To do this, I press the lock button twice within 15 seconds. The final step is to reprogram the battery management system to let the vehicle know a new battery has been fitted using a GSU ASA UFIT or specialist OBD tool. Instructions on how to use the UFIT can be found in our other videos. And that's it, all sorted. Remember, this is for a specific vehicle, so yours may be different in places. Remember to always check the vehicle handbook, our battery lookup instructions, and follow all health and safety guidance.